हे गाइज वेलकम टू थियोरेटिकल पोटिपीडिया वर्ड्स ऑफ बडेज दिस इज दस इज दाई एम वेलकम टू द थियोरेटिकल पोटिपीडिया दिस वीडियो इज कोलाब्रेशन विद द हॉर्टिकल्चर विद कृपा संघ एंड इन दिस वीडियो हु आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इन जनरली आस्ट इन द जे आर एफ एंड एस आर एफ एंड ऑफ द फूड साइंस पार्ट और हॉर्टिकल्चर पार्ट सो द क्वेश्चन इज विच मैंगो ग्राफ्टिंग इज प्रिफर्ड फॉर द इंस्टिट्यू मेथड आई हैव गिवन यू द फाइव ऑप्शन वीनियर ग्राफ्टिंग क्लेफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग स्प्लाइस ग्राफ्टिंग एपिकोटल ग्राफ्टिंग सॉफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग सो आई हैव गिवन द फाइव ऑप्शन एंड आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन द हाउ द ग्राफ्टिंग इज बिंग डॉन सो आई विल डेफिनेटली एड मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दोज ग्राफ्टिंग हुई इज यूजफुल फॉर दियोर फॉर योर जे आर एफ एंड एस आर एफ प्रिपरेशन एंड डेफिनेटली सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इन द वीनियर ग्राफ्टिंग पार्ट as we know how the grafting is done but the question arises over here is what is the difference in between the veneer grafting and the side grafting do you know the know the difference if you know good and well and good don't know then let me clear you in the veneer grafting the vertical flow of the root stock is completely removed whereas in the side grafting the vertical flow of the root stock is being attached in the veneer grafting one side of the cyan is sliced in the second picture we can you can see that the one side of the cyan is sliced whereas in the side grafting two side of this cyan is sliced and one more difference is there in the side grafting part a particular angle is being maintained that is 20 to 30 degree a particular angle is being maintained in the side grafting whereas in the veneer grafting the angle is not compulsory for the veneer grafting part so these are the basic differences in between the veneer grafting and the side grafting don't confuse in between veneer and side grafting okay so in the next is cleft grafting what is cleft grafting i will not explain the part because from the picture you can see the how, what is the cleft grafting it is but i will definitely add more information that in the cleft grafting part the diameter of the root stock the maximum is allowed to 10 to 12 cm diameter of the root stock where in the end the root stock diameter root stock is always greater than the sand diameter in the cleft grafting the diameter of root stock is always greater than the sand diameter so uh, tell me in the comment section that what are the other method of grafting where the diameter of the root stock is greater than the sand diameter i will definitely want to know from your side and one more information i should add here that the cleft grafting is also known as split grafting as from the picture you can see that the root stock is being splitted and the sign is being inserted so it is known as the split grafting also see uh, in the cleft grafting part you can also see that the, uh, the sign it has a blunted end in generally what happens in all the kind of grafting the sign part is is pointed end when you give a one slide cut or two slide cut the uh, end of the uh, sign is always a pointed one but in the cleft grafting it is a blunted end of the sign so this is the um, these are the special qualities of cleft grafting and apart uh, you know the splice grafting part it is the most common method of um, in generally used in the all the crops ornamentals fruit crop also it can be used so this is splice grafting where the splice grafting is also known as the whip grafting so i think the whip grafting is more common to you guys than the splice grafting isn't it then the then comes the apicotal grafting <clears throat> in the apicotal grafting uh, in the first picture you can you can see that uh, there are four plants uh, emerging from a single set that implies the mango has the polyembryonic part so in that uh, portion in the first picture it is being cleared and then last picture uh, it is being cleared that uh, while attaching the plant is while attached to the seed or the stone and the grafting is being completed that's why it is also known as stone grafting because the stone is attached to the plant and the um, the plant is attached to the stone and the, while it is being attached the grafting has been completed so that's why the apicotal grafting or the stone grafting is named so in the <clears throat> apicotal grafting um, 
you can see the three phases that is calcing stage cambial bridge stage hill union stage where then calcing stage the mass of calcis tissue formation um, takes place it is in between the 10 to 30 day, days after grafting but then the cambial bridge stage it is the 30 to 60 days after grafting that is the cambial continuity in between the sign and the stalk and the in the hill union stage it is uh, from the 60 to 120 days after grafting the vascular tissue differentiation takes place and the complete healing of the uh, union takes place in between the stalk and the stem and the graft is com graft is completed it is in being done in the apicotor grafting the and information i'm adding you you can write in your notes also how well in the soft grafting the major difference in between the soft grafting and the apicotor grafting is in the apicotor grafting the uh, stalk is is 7 to 10 days or hardly 2 weeks 2 weeks or 3 weeks maybe 2 to 3 weeks you, you can say 2 to 3 weeks old stock is being used in the soft uh, apicotor grafting whereas in the apicotor uh, soft root grafting the stock is of 6 to 12 months old or you can say that when the stock is at uh, at end of the pencil thickness at that time we should do the soft root grafting However, the procedure is being same in both both the epicotal and the subcortical. That is, the vertical flap is given, uh, a horizontal cord is given, then the vertical cord is given, then the sign is inserted in between, and the it is being it is binded with the polythene tap. <coughs> so then the question again comes: which mango grafting is preferred for the in situ method? Veneer grafting, cleft grafting, splice grafting. Apicotal grafting, soft root grafting. Now your answer is soft root grafting. Why? Again, the question why always you should ask to the every teacher if he is explaining a thing. Don't just say it is yes or no. Just ask why. Because <clears throat> uh, the soft root grafting it can be possible in the dry and hot weather. And in the condition where the low precipitation is there, low, low rainfall is there, in that condition, in that area also we can go for the soft root grafting. Whereas, uh, we can't go for the apicotal grafting because the plant is so small over there and this uh, young plant, they <coughs> it will not tolerate this stress condition. So we can't go for the apicotal grafting uh, as an in-situ method, whereas we can go for the soft root grafting. The splice grafting, veneer grafting, it can't be done as a in situ method. Um, there is no reference over in different places, in different books. It, there is no reference for the veneer grafting or splice grafting. grafting. Cleft grafting is also part of in situ method of grafting. <clears throat> as the uh, in the top working part, in generally we do the uh, while doing the top working, we prefer the cleft grafting while doing the grafting part so uh, the the cleft grafting is being used in the top working of different uh, fruit species so uh, the cleft grafting is also in situ method of grafting soft grafting is also known as in situ method of, of grafting where the cleft grafting is not in the option we should go for the soft method soft grafting and the answer of soft grafting it is lied in the propagation of horticulture crops by the rr sarma it is in that book it has been mentioned that uh, soft root grafting is also known as the in situ method of grafting. So, hope you are clear with the options and uh, hope you are clear with the additional information about the question. Now, my question to you, this picture says it is a which method of grafting? It is being applied on which crops? How many cuts are given in this method of grafting? comment comment on this video apart from this if you want to ask question regarding the fruit science any topic you want to discuss comment also i will try to explain all those thing thank you so much